Hello everybody and welcome to the free online woodworking school. My name's Matt Estley and rather confusingly, in this series I'm not going to teach any woodworking. Instead, I'm going to show you how to use Google SketchUp. I'll explain the details in a minute, but for now, let's roll the intro. So, quick disclaimer before we get stuck into anything. I am not professionally trained on SketchUp, however, I have been using it for well over 10 years. In my childhood, I used to enjoy skateboarding quite a lot. And in my spare time back at home, I used to enjoy designing skate parks on SketchUp or Google SketchUp as it was known back then because it was owned by Google. We'll go over that in a little bit though. In this video, I want to talk about the absolute basics of basics with SketchUp. Specifically, what it is, when you should use it, who uses it and why you should use it. In videos that follow this, that's where we're gonna get stuck in with how you use it. I wanna talk about these absolute basics now because it's really important you know when you should use this in your workflow. Otherwise, I'll just give you a bunch of instructions. You'll be like, cool, what, how, where do I go from here? <laughs> so a very brief history of this software. It was created by a small startup in the year 2000. It was bought out by Google in 2006 and then it was bought out by Trimble in 2012. People who have been using this for a long time, like myself, may accidentally refer to it as Google SketchUp because that's just ingrained in our minds. If you hear someone refer to it as Google SketchUp, it is exactly the same as the software you're using nowadays, which is just known as SketchUp. When the company Trimble bought the software, they kept the same name, but they just sliced off the Google part of it and kept SketchUp as itself. All right, so that's just a bit of terminology there. Google SketchUp, SketchUp, exactly the same thing. And so the next question is, why should you use Google SketchUp? And the reason for this is very simple. It's very simple to use. It is very easy to use and it is incredibly quick to use as well. If you compare it to the likes of software like AutoCAD or Fusion or any of that other 3D modeling or drafting software, you will see how simple SketchUp is and how beginner friendly it is. Yes, it is somewhat limited compared to the likes of AutoCAD and Fusion, but if you just want to use it as a quick drafting software, it is brilliant. And in addition to that, SketchUp is free, or at least it's free in two forms. The first way you can get it is by simply using the browser version of it. And so there'll be a link to that in the description, or you can just Google SketchUp for web, and that will take you to the in-browser version of SketchUp, and you can use that online on their website. The second way of doing it is you can download SketchUp Make 2017, and that's a piece of software that's downloaded to your laptop or PC, and you can use it offline on there. For professionals like myself, who use it for designing and drafting furniture and 3D objects, then you need to get SketchUp Pro. Annoyingly, SketchUp Pro used to be a perpetual license, so you buy it once and you can just use it forever. However, recently, literally in June 2020, Trimble have changed the license so that it is a subscription-only model for SketchUp Pro users, and so you've got to renew that license every year. You know, it, it kind of sucks for people like me. I just wanted to buy it once and then use it, but from a business model, then, you know, that's obviously the way they're gonna go, and I'm not gonna complain about it too much. It's just really, but anyway. In this tutorial, we are going to be using the SketchUp for web version or the in-browser version of SketchUp. Now, annoyingly, I don't really like this. I don't like the interface of it too much. I'm not used to it. I'm much better at using SketchUp Pro and SketchUp Make because with the downloaded software, such as Pro and Make, the interface is slightly different to the in-web version and I don't really like the in-web version. But the reason I want to show it to you in this is firstly, because it's free, and secondly, because SketchUp Make has not been updated since 2017, and I've got a feeling that they will just discontinue the download at some point in the future and make it solely SketchUp for web. And so I wanted to make this tutorial as evergreen as possible because SketchUp for web is obviously gonna be the future of this program. And so if you want access to the free online software that we're gonna be using in this tutorial, then follow the link in the description. You'll need to make an account on Trimble first. And then once you log into that account, that will give you access to SketchUp for web. So make sure you do that before following these tutorials. And so the next question is, when should you use SketchUp? And this is, a, this is a difficult one because it varies a lot from person to person. Personally, I use it midway between rough sketches by hand and drafting on AutoCAD. So when I'm sketching stuff by hand, it's very conceptual and it looks a bit messy. 
And I use SketchUp to kind of put that as a 3D model just to see if things can actually go together and get an idea of how things might be constructed. And on SketchUp, it's very easy to sort of quickly dimension pieces, work out proportions, just simply by clicking and dragging things and pulling stuff apart. And once I've worked out the dimensions and proportions of the design in SketchUp, that is where I will redraw it in AutoCAD afterwards. Now in this series, we're not gonna go as far as AutoCAD because it is a very, you know, firstly, it's a completely new piece of software. Secondly, it's very expensive and for hobbyists, it's not really a viable purchase. And so we're just gonna be focusing on the 3D modeling of SketchUp itself here. And you know, you can still work from these 3D models and create actual physical things following those models. The only downside of it is with AutoCAD, you can create working drawings that you could then take to the workshop and follow as plans. With SketchUp, there's various like plugins and things that will allow you to do that. But with those plugins, they're not quite as versatile as AutoCAD. And so in this tutorial, we're gonna be focusing purely on the 3D modeling aspect of it and how you can use that 3D model to work directly from when you're making your physical pieces in the workshop. And so that wraps up the absolute basics of basics when it comes to SketchUp. And so in the next video, we're actually gonna get stuck in and draw something. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to follow that link in the description, make an account on Trimble, and uh, I'll see you in the next video where we start drawing. Mm.